I can't do research now. My brain is way too full of information. Let's call Bianca. Hey guys, I'm at my cousin's school, the Antonio Gonzalez Suárez Bilingual School in Inyasco, Puerto Rico. They're doing an experiment in their teacher, Miss Alice Acevedo's science class, learning how to measure distances in space. Cool. Dr. D just told us about the great distances in space. Can we take a closer look? Sure. I'd like Kim and I to tell you all about it. Las puedo decir a mis amigos que están haciendo este experimento. Sí, cómo no. Hola, amigos. Mi nombre es Kimberly. Oh, perdóname. I'm sorry. I'm Kimberly. And I'm Ryder Cortez. We are here today with our mentors, Brenda Fuentes, Alexis Alicea, Carmen Garcia, and Jadeli Claudio from the Society of Women Engineers. They are assisting us with a parallax experiment to help us understand how astronomers measure distance in space. Excuse me, we need to listen to my teacher for a minute. Hoy estaremos realizando nuestra clase de ciencia, un experimento que es utilizado por los astronautas sobre los equivalentes paralelos en el espacio. Okay, I'm back. What's parallax? It's the apparent change in the position of an object. Try this. Hold your thumb out in front of you and close one eye. Then close the other eye. Looks like my thumb is moving. That's neat. Even though your thumb really didn't move, it looked like it did, and that's parallax. So how does the experiment work? First, we lay out our baseline of rope, 10 meters long. One end is marked A, and the other end is B. Then we place an object not more than 25 meters away from the baseline. I know this is a protractor, but how is it going to help you measure distance? You stand on the baseline at points A and make sure that the protractor is parallel with the rope. Why'd you put the pencil on the vertex? Putting it there helps you line the object up as you look at it. What comes next? Now move another pencil around the outer edge of the protractor until it lines up with the object. How do you read the protractor? Your partner will actually read it for you and record the angle. Next, we move to the other end and repeat the steps. Notice how the flat pole seems to have changed its position and appears as a different angle. Now what do you do with your data? Plot it on graph paper. Draw a 10 centimeter baseline at the bottom of the paper and then draw in our angles. Do the two lines intersecting mean anything? Yes, it is telling us the distance that the object is from the baseline. How do you determine the distance? Draw a perpendicular line from the point of intersection to the baseline and then measure it. What's the scale? We use the scale that means one centimeter on the graph paper equals one meter outside. I get it. So if the line measures 15 centimeters, the distance from the object is 15 meters. Astronomers are able to see an apparent shift in the nearby stars as the Earth revolves around the sun. That's really interesting. And thanks to the Society of Women Engineers for providing us with mentors. Visit the NASA SciFi's website to learn how to get your own classroom mentors. Thanks, Kim and Ida. I've got to go to my next meeting. ¿Qué hora es? It's 3 p.m. I'd better run. Adios, amigas. Adios. With planets and stars so far apart, it sure is good to have a way to measure the distance.